What's going on guys? Welcome back to Rambling Garage. Uh, today we're doing a little revert on the, the Rambler. We've been running the Holly Sniper EFI for a long time now. Um, probably three and a half years now. Uh, we're going to revert it back to stock. I have the car in here. It's going to be in here for the winter and I want to start working on this thing and I want to get it nicer. Um, part of that, I want to get the car back to more of a stock form. I want to get it running and uh, driving properly and I'll explain to you guys why. Uh, removing the sniper is going to be part of that. As part of that, I want to make sure we have the TV cable kicked down. This does have a TV cable, so it not only initiates uh, kick down for uh, shifting downwards into other gears, um, but it is also controlling transmission pressure. And ever since I had the sniper, I've not been able to set that up properly just because of the way this car is, unfortunately. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start by taking the sniper out. I have a uh, I'm planning on buying a rebuilt 4160 car of a 450 CFM for this 327, which should be enough according to Summit, and uh, we're going to put it on there. It's a factory car, but it should have the linkage proper for the, the TV cable, and uh, should make this thing run very, very well. So we're going to do that. Uh, I'm going to show you guys that. That means we're going to remove our fuel pump, the electric one, which um, has been... The noise of the electric pump has been bugging me a little bit. We could have gone with a, an intake pump, but... Uh, would have had to figure that out because they don't have options for AMC. Um, so we're going to go with the mechanical that I still have laying around, which is really nice because those are getting hard to find. And uh, we're going to throw that carb on there and we should be able to run it pretty much as is. So uh, I'm going to show you guys what we got going on. Start ripping this out. I already have a buyer that is coming tonight or tomorrow. And uh, we'll get to it. Alrighty, so when I installed this, I installed it trying to keep it looking pretty factory. So we look back here, we have this is a non factory wire loom for the the sniper, it comes all the way around and just plugs in over here. Uh, going to the car, we have a fuse block for the fans and everything. As part of this, we're going to be removing this uh, radiator. The electric fans, we're going to put the mechanical back on there. I have the factory radiator and the shroud. So we're going to go all the way back to factory. And uh, everything is going to look, I think, pretty good. Uh, one other thing we do need to do is, I think I need a 3 8 uh, pipe thread plug to go down there. Not a big deal. Just got to find one. And... Uh, yeah, that's about that. Uh, outside of that, things that are staying, I'm gonna keep this, I think I need this return spring, we're gonna find out. Um, be keeping that for the new one, and that's all I can think of offhand. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna keep pulling things apart. I'm gonna get the fuel pump off, we gotta get the return line off because that's going with the system, and uh, we gotta get that O2 out of there as well. So, a few things to do, but uh, should be able to get them done, no problem. All right, so reason number one I'm getting rid of this, this is a TV cable that I mentioned to you guys. And you can see I've zip tied it in so that it is just in a little bit and I just cruise in the car, I don't really beat on it. But uh, as a result, you know, I, I don't have uh, like RPM or um, throttle pedal regulated transmission pressure it's just a constant so it clunks into gear when I'm sitting there and I put it in drive reverse whatever so um, that's a big reason I want to get rid of this is because I can't adapt this properly so that it is using this um, every there's too much stuff in the way under here like you have the you have our uh, idle screw it would need to go in there right under the idle screw basically so um, to do that you need like a well, I can show you when I get the new car, but we need a plate that goes in and basically makes an L and that uh, TV cable plugs into, and there's just no room for it. Um, could be other options, like I could bring the TV cable out here and do something out here, but uh, that cable is pretty limited in its length. So um, the other reason I'm thinking I want to get rid of this is that we don't have much for HEI distributor options in this vehicle. So I am only running fuel control right now. I have a Protronics Igniter 3 in the distributor, so it is HEI, but it's not controlled by the Holly system, so I'm re only really getting half the tunability out of this thing. So that's why. I'm going to keep pulling it apart. I got the wiring harness most of the way out. I got to get the return line out of it, and then just the fuel pump and the fuel pump wire, and that'll, that'll be that, and uh, we'll slap a carb back on it. All right, guys, just like that, the Holly is out. Um, Got that covered up, so when we get our new carb in, we can toss it in there. Uh, I need to clean up a little bit in here, like some of these zip ties that I was telling you guys about. We'll get rid of some of those. Um, 
back to one fuel line, which is kind of nice. Got the return line pulled out of there. Uh, I do have to do a few things. I have to fill the hole in the exhaust for the O2. Uh, I need to finish running the fuel line up to the mechanical pump that's going to go back there. And I just remembered I need to take that off for the guy before he gets here. I told him he could have that. Um, and then mechanical in, carb on. I need to fix, I had the return set up so that it would go back into the filler hose. Um, that I had to cut out, so I need to get a new filler hose. Need to adjust some um, fuel line over there. I'll take you guys with me when I do all this stuff. I just wanna didn't want to make you guys watch me take that guy off. So uh, I've had pretty good luck with this thing, and uh, I'm just uh, wanting to do more of a restore and have things original. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it off. This thing was good to me. Um, no complaints. And I hope it makes somebody else happy here. But. Uh, yeah, there we are. That carb's going to be here in the next few days. I can't wait to show you guys. I think it's going to look good in there. And it'll be nice to have a factory carb. So I will see you guys in a few days. Um, I'm going to finish packing this stuff up for the guy so he has everything nice and together. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. So I've been making some very slow progress on this thing. Um, I do have the new carb in. This is a uh, freshly rebuilt... I think it's out of a 66 Ambassador or Marlin. It must have been something with a, a manual in it. Because we look here, the TV kickdown does not have a screw hole in it. So I'm just going to have to drill that out. And actually, we're going to have to put a little spacer in there. If we take a look at this. Let's see it's back a little bit. So we're going to make a spacer so I don't have to modify the original. And uh, that will work good for a kickdown. Um, this carb does not have vacuum ports like the uh, previous one did, so I'm going to need a vacuum port for the uh, PCV there. I don't know why that's, it's got like oil or something on it. But, uh, so I'm going to need another, uh, it's going to be a 3 8 MPT to a, just a barb fitting, I believe, for the spacer that I have. You can see that I don't have the spacer in right now. I'm um, also going to need, I had a, a chrome similar, I think it's 3 8 to uh, uh, just a barb here and it was chrome um, since I'm getting rid of a lot of this stuff like uh, my radiator is gonna go we're gonna go back to a black one all that stuff um, I want that just to be like a brass or a bronze one so I'm gonna swap that out and then I also have the uh, sniper temp sensor is still in there so that one uh, I ended up giving the guy the original sniper one that I had laying around that's an aftermarket one so um, that's why that's still in there just acting as a plug. So, uh, we don't have a ton left to do on this thing. I do have to also block off these little vacuum ports on the sides here. Uh, there's one on each side. The other one I, I took out. But, uh, gotta block those off. Um, our throttle linkage is correct. If anything, it needs to be shortened a little bit. Um, and then I just need to run fuel lines. So, Got a few line out of the carb. Uh, this carb, unfortunately, was stripped out when I got it. So I JB welded it. We go over here. Uh, I'm creating a hard line here. This is a hard line down to just, I'm going to use a small piece of rubber line uh, to accommodate for any vibrations or anything. And then this is uh, the line that's coming off the, the fuel pump. So we'll do that. I have new 3 8 lines down here. Uh, I'm going to go with 3 8 which is more than what we need, but that's the uh, size of the rubber hose that I ran for the sniper. So I already have some hose under the car, but I want to run primarily uh, hard lines. So that's what those are for. We'll get those run once the car's up in the air. Um, we're doing other things in another video, just pulling out the interior of this. Um, so once that's done and I get my fittings in, there's one of the other ones. I think that's a, let's figure out what size that is. I think it's a quarter. Um, but I'm going to measure those, get some parts ordered. We should be able to get the feeling all put back together. I'm going to run this thing off the, uh, the mechanical pump in there and this carb. And then that's going to be it for this video of getting rid of the sniper. And then we're going to move our way over to the interior video. So uh, let's go get some parts. Let's get it all back together and let's have this thing run a little bit on the mechanical pump and the, the new carb. All right, guys, so we got a mess of a car up here, but uh, we got everything we need, really. I uh, have our spacer port here. Um, I'm just going to start doing some Teflon tape on these. This one's going to go back to the uh, PCV, I believe. We'll uh, get that cleaned up a little bit. 
And uh, we got another Teflon on the, the manifold that we're gonna have one of these guys on. We need to uh, get that all cleaned up, ready to go. So that, that'll go to the uh, brake booster. Um, and here, I'm just gonna start with this one. Get a little Teflon tape. We gotta make a, a new line also. There's vacuum for the, the advance. Um, we gotta do all the carp, so we'll do all of them. take a look at where we're gonna end up bending this uh, looks like we're gonna bend it I want to come like down here and then kind of around um, but I have to make sure I come out far enough so we're gonna bend down right about here a nice little brake line bender which is and ends up being more of a brake line kinker half the time um, up you gotta account for where your bend is gonna start so we start here this always works so poorly go with a, a 90 there Check it out, looks pretty good. So, in theory, we could go just like that, but I want it to make it go kind of down and then curve and hug the, the line of this so that it's not in front of the vacuum advance. So we got it there. Move that up like that, and we're gonna bend it right again just to come right under. Should be a pretty easy one. So we could have gotten that a little tighter, but I think that's going to do what we need. Um, and then it keeps it off any wires that we have here as well. So I'm going to actually, I'm pretty content with that. I'll bend a little bit once we get it in place. I think it looks good. So we got my little pipe cutter here. I'm just gonna cut it a little shorter. So I don't need all that, that length on it. Right about there should be good. This little guy just dropped right in the channel in my door and almost <laughs> went all the way down into the, the door sill. That would have been funny. Um, something like that. Funny. Alright, so I'm going to get this mounted outside of the car and let's go put the carb on this thing. Try and make that just touch tighter. There we go. Brake line pliers here, pretty good ones. All right, 
There we have it. This carb's ready to put in the car here. I don't know where the rest of my brake line went. You see, I already have that brass fitting in here. Uh, that is not uh, taped up yet, so we'll get that taped up. Um, drop this guy in there. PCB is here. All right, we might end the video here just because we're missing some things. I want to get a video out. It's been a couple weeks, but uh, got the carb on here and got our new uh, fuel lines. They are semi-run. Um, you can see that one goes down below the alternator here and right there. And it actually clears the, should clear the, the alternator bracket down here as well so it doesn't rub or anything. Uh, if not, we can bend that a little bit and make that happen. Um, got our vacuum in advance guy here. I do need to get a new line so that I can run that back down to the advance. Uh, same with that PCV hose. Um, I think I just need a, I'm going to need a different bung for that or a different fitting to make that work. So, and then this one is just our fuel line that went to the sniper. So I'm hoping that, uh, well, I'm not hoping anything with that. I'm going to be running all new lines for the sniper. I have, uh, some hard lines here. So that line is going to go away. Hard lines are going to come up to probably somewhere right in here and uh, then we'll do a rubber up to the rubber line to the, the pump there so that uh, that's in for now I'm a little curious just because we're here to see if my air cleaner fits on this um, I don't know why it wouldn't but uh, let's check all right I had mild suspicions that this would work or not because it didn't on the the previous carb uh, the, the float tubes there, or not the float tubes, the bowl tubes are just too high, so I need to get a spacer for this. I have one on storage somewhere, I just uh, got to find it, so this thing needs a nice cleaning, but once I get a spacer that'll fit on there fine, and uh, we're pretty close. So in the next video, uh, we're going to change out that, uh, the bung for the uh, PCV. We'll get a new hose for the, uh, I'm losing my words here, for the uh, vacuum advance. We'll just finish up our fueling here. We're gonna just run it off one of uh, one of those tanks to get it running. Uh, we'll see that how it runs on this new carb, and uh, we'll, we'll button things up. I think I'm also gonna get the the TV cable all sorted out. We'll do that on video and uh, show you guys how we do that. But uh, I think that's it. Everything is looking pretty good. Um, I'm excited to to hear and smell uh, this thing on uh, carb again. But uh, there we have it. Things are uh, slowly coming together. Things are starting to look pretty good. And uh, we just got a couple odds and ends left over. But I do want to get you guys a video out. So we're going to end here. Uh, let, let me know what you guys think about ditching the Holly. And, uh, well, I guess we're not ditching the Holly. We're ditching uh, the EFI and just going with a 4160, 450 CFM carb here. Um, I, I think it's going to run pretty well. And this is a factory carb. And I think it's going to make this car just a lot, uh, a lot more drivable, especially with this TV stuff as I... I discussed earlier, I'm pretty excited about that, um, and I think it's just going to make it more comfortable. So, 
that's just the start of kind of getting this thing. We're going to restore this thing. So we got a lot, lot of things to do. Uh, this motor is going to come out eventually. We're going to repaint this whole engine bay again. It looks pretty good right now, but uh, I'd like to do it again eventually. Um, working on the side on another video, we're just pulling out the interior in this guy. So um, that's not going to take too long. Uh, redoing it all is going to take forever. But uh, we've started working on that a little bit. So that center console and that seat are going to come out next. And uh, yeah, just all sorts of stuff to do. We're going to get it done. We're going to make some videos and uh, bring you guys along with us. So I want to thank you guys for watching. More videos coming on the, the carb stuff there and just getting this thing to be really, really nice cruiser. Uh, the goal is to kind of keep some of that exterior patina. I'm going to seal it up. But uh, new interior, new top. We're gonna make that drivetrain as stout as possible. Uh, it runs really well right now. We just need to do some extras to it. So I'm excited to have a new interior in here and have a kind of a new feeling car. Uh, you know, and it'll wear it'll wear its age on the outside. That's a goal at least. So uh, I look forward to sharing everything with you guys in the next video. Um, that's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.